All right, today we're going to be doing timing on a 1995 Toyota Corolla, or in this case, a Geo Prism. But pretty much all the same thing when it comes to timing. Let's take a look. Things that you will need are a timing light, and in this case, you need a paper clip to jump the computer. First off, over here, we're going to find the diagnostic link connector. T1 and E1 inside here are the connectors that you need to jump to go into base timing mode. You can hear the RPM change when we go into base timing mode. To verify that the check-in, sorry, that the computer is in base timing mode and that it is making a good connection on that DLC, diagnostic link connector, you can verify that the check engine light is flashing. When it's flashing like that, we do know that it's in base timing mode. <clears throat> and then we're gonna come over here It is going to be really hard to see on this one, but near or on the side of the pulley, you can barely see it right above my finger in the shadows down there is the indicator. There's the indicator, a little bit easier to see. You can see that yellow flashing uh, dot. That is the zero mark on this pulley. It's perfectly lining up with 10 degrees as of right now. If I was to use my gun, I could move up the timing just to verify. So let's move it up 10 degrees. Well, you can't see it's behind the indicator now, but it is at zero. I already verified it on this one. Oh, wait, here we go. Sorry, one more time. And that's once again at 10 degrees. Alright, if you had to do an adjustment on this vehicle, obviously here's the distributor. You're going to have two uh, lockdown bolts, or uh, in-place bolts. One is right here on the front side. That one that would have to be loosened. There's another one on the back side down there. It's kind of hard to see. You can almost see it. It's that gold one right there at the tip of my finger. There's another gold bolt on the bottom side of the distributor. It's this one right here. So you're going to have two to loosen up. And then you would turn the distributor counterclockwise or clockwise to adjust the timing as you watch it with your timing light. Thanks for looking. Please subscribe. If you have any questions or want to see a timing tech on a different vehicle, give me a call. Or call. You could call me if you want. But uh, request it here on YouTube. Remember to like, share, retweet, repost, all that. Thanks for taking a look at my video. You have a great day and good luck with your DIYs.